Hello there, everybody. Welcome back. I am back in the homestead here. Uh, Shady Bell, I think that's what this place is called. But in any case, uh, yeah, so I've done some things since the last time we talked. Mostly hunting, gathering, and buying some clothes and whatnot. Uh, there was one thing I did, though, that... I didn't mean to do as an accident. Uh, let's see here. I think you bring it up over here. There we go. Uh, tasks. There was a letter I got. There we go. Fatherhood and, and Other Dreams 1. Arthur received a second letter from Mary Linton. It says, Visit Mary. I think that's on my map now. She wrote me, and then... Is this her right here? Yeah. And, yeah, unfortunately... I think I have the letter, though. I can still look at the letter here. I didn't actually read it. Oops, it be in my satchel. Um... I don't know if this orders them in the order I got them or not. I don't think it does. Letters. Second letter from Mary. Uh, read? Okay. Hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I don't. I don't. I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life, and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I've made such a mess of my life, time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that you shroud your judgment? Damn, harsh. Life is, very, life is very confusing. I see now that I am not very good at it. I'm afraid we have to... Look out, get Marston! Back. Shit, damn, dude. I'm reading a letter here. Um, I'm afraid we have got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in St. Denis. Oh, Arthur, I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Thanks, Mary. Okay. God, it feels like forever since I've seen Mary... It's crazy. Um, we're gonna handle some stuff here around camp. Oh, I think don't first. you have any warmer clothes, Mr. Morgan? What's wrong with my clothes? I think I look good. Um, uh, there's always some people out here bugging me. So let's see if we got anybody out here that wants to talk. Pick up our pace a little bit. Oh wait, there's some stuff here. Oh, uh, snake skins. I can deliver snake skins. We could really use some more meat, Mr. Morgan. We need some meat. This is all I got for you. Good. We really needed this. There you go. I know supplies are low. That's some wolf hearts. Can't wait to taste this. Don't you overcook this now, Pearson. Alright, you should be good there. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. This camp could do with a few improvements. Why don't you take a look at my ideas? Uh... I don't have any of that stuff. There was something I needed the snake skins for. I don't no. remember what the hell they Fire. were.
Ah, let me this right here. There we go. Snakeskin banjo head. I think you're gonna be popular after that. There you go, dude. I don't think I have anything else. Yeah, we're good. It makes you feel a bit more like home. Um. There's nothing happening in the town, right? Other than. Oh, wait, wait. There's this right here. Uh, okay, let's let's look at Jose here. Let's see what Jose needs. Do 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 do. Jose. Hey, Arthur. Come on. If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh yeah. Old friend Dutch van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. I don't know. I think I was just fine. But are they gonna change? They're gonna put me in something else, I guess. <laughs> no, I guess so. You're ridiculous! <laughs> Utterly! I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There can be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please, gentlemen. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Yeah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come down this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, Mr. Brante, he has a, a thing, you know, a respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. <laughs> come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. Pretty fancy digs. You arrived, and you've washed for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. Oh, this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something, although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is Santa Ni High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, <laughs> a, a Confederate major in the war, <laughs> and a hero, they say, but that, this is his very young wife. 
I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but their young wife is unseemly. <laughs> oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, <laughs> they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire! <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. What's inside there? They won't let me go. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again. Something tells me these guys don't really look at us. Gentlemen, on the same level. Let's go ingratiate ourselves. As them. They are tolerating us because they want us to assassinate some people for them. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble. And steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us some place to rob. Bill. Go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out if old Cornwall and what's his name, Milton, knows we're here. Gentlemen, be well. Good evening, mister. Is you have Ah! Get me a bloody drink, will you? Hello there. A small one. Just big enough for me to swim lengths in, you know? Yes, madam. <laughs> you know what? Great fuck, I'm drunk. <laughs> you know, I used to be a great beauty. And an even greater wit. Darling time. What a total bastard it is, huh? Then again, I always loved bastards. The real ones, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Wedlock. Hugely overrated. I tried it enough. Well, I, I tried both. You know, bastards and marriage. I even married a bastard. <laughs> that didn't work out so good. Oh, my God. I should not have got up this morning. I, I, I need to go and sit down and have a little rest. I'm just going to... I am. But I can't talk I know to you. I look like a drunken harlot. But let me be very clear, young man. I am a drunken harlot. Interesting they wouldn't let me actually interact with her. <laughs> you walk 
been away How are from you, history. Ladies? You fool. Hello there. Women and men both deserve to decide the future. This okay. is meant to be the land Good of liberty. Ladies. But somehow I Bonjour, am monsieur. not free to vote. <laughs> you are. Look me in the eye and tell me in all of this. Camilla McClare, where ever did you get that? Why, that would be telling. Oh, you. We <laughs> you always so dead. How are you? Hello. Albert Danielson. Yeah. Brain Tilden. But I tried. <laughs> <laughs> How do you do, sir? Nice to meet the both of you. Guess I'm coming over here. Yeah. How was the show? I suggested that all of us as Americans had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. It ain't complex, and you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. <laughs> hey, you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me cool off? Hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the park. How do you do? Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. Rider? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, oh, oh. My lord, they're fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Did he say something about Cornwall? Yes. Find out what. Sure. Oh. 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 undetected, huh? Yeah. Stay no back problem. from the circuit to make sure everything's fine. Perfect. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Terry. The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. Got my sneak on right now. <sighs> Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate Jeep and beat him. I will not have standard slip in this house. <sighs> have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. This guy's kind of a jerk, Who huh? Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. 
This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. <sighs> no, okay, it's going that way. All right. It's going back upstairs, it looks like. Oh, he went in that room that got shut earlier. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. Arthur? Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find now? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Poker? Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Uh, anybody see you take this? I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. You do that, Dutch. You do that. You think. <laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law react. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller, fine man, here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I think I'm gonna go. Oh, look at it. he just disappeared. Go talk to Marie, I guess. 
Mary? Mary? is everything is it all over here yeah it is look at that <laughs> all right, we're gonna do that stranger huh <laughs> oh, okay that's a str okay Talk to Mary. No, 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 no. There it is. you got there. How about we see how fast it is? First one to catfish Jackson's. Sure, why not? Ready? Let's go. Alright, let's do this. I'm surprised I won, honestly. Easy, whoa. <laughs> Darn it! Damn horse acting up on me of all the times. Take care of yourself, Hugh. All right. Oh, what the hell, dude? Oh, really? was a um, a shooter shootable offense huh that was dumb okay let's try this again 
This is why the cinematic thing doesn't always work out. That was dumb. <laughs> was that really worth dying over? That over there. Pick up the speed a little bit. Oh no, I'm going through the swamp. Yeah, that kind of diverted me a bit more than I wanted it to. And the thing I got for it for being able to bond with my horse faster is um, not really necessary because I don't think I'm ever going to trade out this horse. Well, let me go that way. Straight down. <laughs> Call me crazy, but I don't think this whole thing with Mary's gonna end well by the end of all this. Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. <laughs> I'm begging you, Arthur. 
I know Daddy was not kind to you, but but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than than and me. <laughs> then the choices you make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? <sighs> yeah. Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know, sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. That doesn't look very comfortable. What do you want? What? Come on, dude. Really? Pedestrians back then stuck just like pedestrians today do. <laughs> This guy's not gonna stop, right? Ah, uh, he did, okay. Stop. Like, none of these people yield the right of way. Pedestrians, anybody. Look at this guy, why are you walking down the middle of the street? What's gotten into you? Oh, shut up. <laughs> these people all deserve to be run over by me. <laughs> God, that looks uncomfortable for her. Twisted like that. This is the place. What happened? Oh. What?
There was a timer? What? <laughs> I didn't know there was a timer. So right, what we'll do you think he's up to? We'll get I'm there faster. Sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But you got a it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever, pawning things off left and right, mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Well, don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. Yeah, there was nothing to indicate to me that there was a that there was a deadline on this. That was dumb. It's like I got off the horse and I was like, what did I do wrong? This is the place. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. <laughs> Why? I said, just get out of here. <laughs> Listen, partner. <laughs> I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady... You'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. And make my apologies to the lady at your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Never been so demeaned in my life. Apology accepted. Oh, my own wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, it's... Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired I and I have unwell. no such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. This way. He went around the corner. Wait, Arthur. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. <laughs> we'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. Come here, <laughs> quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh, he'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? 
Let's go find out. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. Don't lose sight of him. Is he just going to another place to get drunk or something? What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not even a to sell. Oh, it's like just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself you killed. You don't understand. Mother enough. left it to me. You <laughs> sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. He'll probably kill someone. Oh, would you like that, don't you, Mary? Hey, you, Ashton, hold her right there. Yeah, on foot? No. Hey! Stop that coach! Come on. Horse. Get over here. Why aren't you coming to me? You're a dumbass. Maybe yeah. I will get a new horse. You hear me? Stop the damn coach! God damn it! God, really? Okay, then, girl. Yep. I tried to jump.
Okay. Do you know who I am? How do we back up? How do you make horses back up? Did Gillis put you up to this? Yep. Oh my god. Go. Are you kidding me? I got them stuck. That is hysterical. Wow. I can't believe that. I guess you can't... I mean, you should be able to make a horse back up, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was dumb. Do you know who I am? For Christ's sake. is to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. Do it. Here. Here. Yeah, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. exactly am I right now? Are you kidding me? Where's my horse at? Back there? Oh my god. Guess we're taking that back into town. Is there a way to take a horse off of this? I don't think there is. Oh, is it just automatically going to take me back? Interesting. Where's your father? I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. You want to take a walk? I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey. What are you doing now, right this moment? Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Uh. Sure. Theater? Me? Sure, why not? <laughs> It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> Strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but... <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well... That's true. <laughs> so... Shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, 
Mrs. Lamb. <laughs> well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> Sort of beautiful, in a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I... I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on, let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. Should be interesting. Welcome! <laughs> and thank you for that thunderous applause. I am Aldridge T. Abington, the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt, as a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just as starting a or not. Are you of in a the rush? The greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity fire, snakes, and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky! joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint-Denis. And she can antagonize them. Perfect. Oh, 
I see you, you, you love her dulcet tones, right? Yes, she is pure spectacle, and I assure you she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company of strange women. You are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanserino. Stop it. Wonderful. I can't think of anything worse. Oh, don't burn yourself! Enchanting, mesmerizing. She is truly one to bring home to mother. <laughs> it is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. I have been there. Prepare for the body braziers of the Petite Flaneur in Gay Paris. Can can dancers, maybe? Yep. Hey, now, this is more like it.
<laughs> oh, incredible! Aren't they lovely? Oh, those legs are a sight to behold. I am spent. <laughs> Each of my shows is truly incredulous. Oh, inspiring, and I'm sure you enjoyed. Thank you. <laughs> We flounder through the morass of humanity with only bright moments like these before it all goes dim and snuffs out in silence. So thank you. What a lovely evening. Come back tomorrow. There you go. All right. Well... Shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. Got some people I need to take care of. But once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur. If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. And soon I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money, I had some, but then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Yeah.
pretty cliche story, right? Just one more job. That's all we need, just one more. But uh, in any case, uh, I think we're done here. So uh, thank you for joining me, and, uh, and until next time, everybody out there, take it easy. All right, bye.